As the world observes World Disability Day, uh, some groups are advocating for the inclusiveness and gender equality of persons with disabilities in the country, irrespective of gender or disability. Now, the conveners are starting a 16-day activism, activism against gender-based violence. Plus, the Venice correspondent Emmanuel Ehigine's report is presented from our studios. The Disability Dialogue is aimed at making a 2022 International Day of Persons with Disabilities under 16 day activism against gender-based violence. Technical Director of Cedar Seed, Rose Daniel, says the dialogue is aimed at inclusiveness for all persons as well as preferring solutions to the institutional and attitudinal challenges faced by persons living with disabilities. The persons with disabilities faces a lot of challenges ranging from attitudinal barrier, most especially by people in our community, and not only that, even uh, in some institutions, they see persons with disabilities as liabilities, and they see us as persons that cannot be able to do anything, most especially when it comes to employment, we face a lot of barrier. For the representative of skills and palladium, Susan Agada, the interest of organization is inclusiveness for all irrespective of gender or disability status. Scale is a five-year project that is being funded by the US government through the United States International Development Agency known as USAID. But implemented in Nigeria by Palladio in partnership with indigenous civil society of Nigeria. As a um, part of our partners, CDC happens to be one of our four partners um, working under the cluster model. We have a model known as the cluster model where we bring together small civil society organizations to work in addressing the specific um, advocacy issues. So CDC is very partners, so are persons with disability. Um, they are very important key stakeholders to us at skill. We are very Jesse inclusive and we want to ensure that Nigeria becomes a more inclusive environment for every single citizen regardless of age, status and disability. Participants also share their experiences while acknowledging the benefit of the program. Come to rural area, the villages, in fact the, these ones that you are seeing in town there is persons with disability in villages that they are not coming out. In fact, they are passing through here. Mm. So we want government to please to assist in one way or the other. But they should call the, the leaders of persons with disability who will give the idea what to do. It will help us in um, making known our problems to the society, the community, especially the government. If this kind of workshops are not being held, there's no way people will hear our voice and to know the problem we have as PWDs. There are so many PWDs out there that are not educated, they don't have the opportunity to be educated. We want the government to step in. Program like this, people are exposing us and building our self-esteem and our confidence, understanding our rights, um, the values we have, the potentials we have, you know, that we have a lot to offer. Um, there is need for us to come out from the closet and then um, and showcase to the world our potentials and our abilities. Thereby, even um, portraying that strength and our abilities to the general public, knowing that um, we can still do more. All contributions were made by resource persons from outside the country. The aim of the dialogue is to create awareness on the need for government to understand that disability inclusion in every sphere of life, such the right to health and right to education cannot be overlooked, and that the Disability Act must not only be seen to have been signed into law but must be implemented to serve its purpose. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.